December 28, 1944. After arriving in our patrol sector just north of Finland in the Barents Sea, we were tasked with hunting down and sinking any and all Allied shipping that we came across. It wasn't long after arriving that we were informed by command that a cargo ship, Edward G. Jane, was sailing through our sector towards Russia, and on board it was holding a vital piece of technology that would greatly help Russia's war efforts against Germany. We later located the Edward Jane, and together as a team succeeded in sending her down to the bottom of the Barents Sea. Accomplishing this task will no doubt cripple Russia's ability in fighting the German army. Now having completed our mission, it is time to set a course back to our home port of Bergen. Morale aboard the boat is currently high, however my crew know that we are far from safe waters, and the journey home will be long as the Allies will surely be hunting for us. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to another episode of U-Boats. And may I just say to start this off, what a beautiful, again, sunrise. Oh, this is technically sunset because it's 1603. But you know what? They look the same. Sunrise, sunset, whether it's 9 a.m. or 1600, it's uh, looking the same. And then as you gaze off over here, you get the lonely dark night that is awaiting us. But if you all recall in the last episode, we were to the north of Sweden, just off its northern shores in the Barents Sea, and we managed to knock out the Edward G. Jane holding vital technology that was on its way to Russia, as well as a Bogue class escort carrier, which, uh, I mean, God, it went up in flames just on the first hit of the torpedo, so that went down pretty fast. There wasn't a whole lot going on in here. I did some scouting missions just to see what was in and around the area, however, Ultimately didn't come across anything and we managed to get back to the uh, port of Bergden with very little fuel might I add. I mean I was at 55%, 54% right up here. By the time I got down to Bergden, oh, we were right at about 19 or 18% fuel capacity. So it took a lot of fuel to actually get up here, do the patrol missions, then then come back. So that is something to keep in mind if we head back up. But the new mission now, we are headed up to Bear Island. Let's go ahead and increase the speed here. Weather Station Bear Island, where we are going to set up a weather post for uh, basically intelligence. So as you can see, here is our mission. The Kriegsmarine, as well as the Luftwaffe, would find it immensely useful to find more accurate weather data at their disposal for planning upcoming operations. For this reason, we came up with a plan to set up automated weather stations on remote islands. Our meteorologist identified Bear Island as a promising target for such a deployment. So. As we, I'm surprised we haven't come across anything though. You know, it's just, it's pretty barren up here. When you come across shipping, you gotta really take advantage of it. But essentially we're gonna be up here looking for uh, a good place to set up this weather station. Let's go ahead and decrease. Let's get ready to arrive at this area. So my, obviously we're gonna have to offload. We're gonna have to send people up on the shore. That's just, that's a given. I know that's gonna be the case. The question I have is, are we going to be at risk of enemy shipping coming by while we're here? My guess would be yes. It's not like we're just going to be able to set this up all willy-nilly. Let's go ahead and start send a team to the coast. How many do we want to send? Let's send two. Maybe three. Maybe three. We'll send Mr. Carl. We'll do two. And hmm, Erwin Socks. Go ahead and send those two off, select a character. Oh, can we send others? Yes, we can, look at that. Perfect. Two officers and three, no, we'll send all four crewmen. Super fast, hopefully that's gonna help. So let's get them off, 18 seconds. Team sent, please wait while the team arrives at the destination. Let's go ahead and increase time here. All right, your team arrived to the coast with no problems. There is no sign of human presence around. We should send a scouting party to search for a good spot to deploy the weather station. That sounds good to me. Go ahead and do that. Performance is going to be slow. Oh, it kicked us out. That's weird. So here's my thought. While they're doing their scouting mission, what is the current depth we're at here? No. You know what we need to do? We need to just stay here. Let's actually submerge. Can we submerge here? Let's go down to... So we are submerged, hidden. We gotta keep an eye on our air and fuel. But that way, any shipping that comes by... Hopefully, goes right over us. Let's go ahead and do one more thing and turn off our gyro compass. We'll do blue lighting while we await everything. 
And here we are, boy, performance is slow, only 4%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase this. Impression 140, and I will be back as soon as we get to 100%. All right, here we go, 97, 8, 9, 100 for progression. Our scouting team found a good location to deploy the weather station and carried all components there. We can start assembling it. Well then, bloody hell, let's do it, shall we? Performance average, we're still doing good on air quality. That's all right. It's you in the listening room, sir. Have you start doing something. There we go. That's what we like. And that's what I was worried about right there. And wouldn't you know it, they're coming right for us. We need to figure out what we're going to do here and fast. These guys are coming right at us. All right, well, we're going to have to try and get the hell out of Dodge. What is our current depth right now? We could probably still go a little lower. Let's do that. 30 meters. Forward with the electric engines. Hard. Hard 90 degree turn away from these ships. And we need to start thinking about going super slow once they get a little closer. And we destroy it 7 hour. We're waiting. One forward. Do not be detected. Go ahead and stop right there. Out of their way. Steady, gentlemen. Steady. See how things are looking outside. It looks like they are going right by. Ah, oh, shit. We are being pinged. Not what we wanted to see. What are you guys at? 59%. Ah, shit. Yet. They are coming at us, ladies and gentlemen. Best we can do is try and get the hell out of the way. Where's the skipper? Alright, really quick. We need to go get a... Go get a decoy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Quick, quick, quick. Get a decoy and get that thing up there. Where is the storage unit? There it is. Just one. Transfer. Exit. Work your way to the back of the boat. Since we are being pinged, we are in Shit's Creek right now. Launch. That is away. And now we are going to make a hard turn away from these guys. Okay, this is intense. While well, these guys are just having a lovely time on the island, must be nice. But they are definitely going for it because we hear the depth charges, but they are not near us, which is perfect. Alright, we have managed to get a good way away from our sonar decoy. Let's see how our guys are doing on here. 85%. Come on, guys. Okay, I don't know if we're still being pinged or not, but the destroyers are on their way. They've destroyed the sonar. Or the decoy, and they are moving away. Let's go ahead and increase the speed to see just. Oh god, this guy is looking like he's coming right at us. Receive radio trans. Oh, for God's sakes. Retrieve. Receive the radio transmission. Good job, good job. Retreat to the ship, please. And let's get the hell out of Dodge. Forward two, men. Alright, I don't know if we're out of waters yet. We're going to go ahead and go to periscope depth. We might have just been able to get out of that. Thank goodness. On that warship spot. Let's go ahead and send that over. And we have a message from the weather station. Receive weather station deployment area. I think we managed to get out of there, ladies and gentlemen. Weather station decoded message. Temperature minus 4 degrees Celsius. Wind speed 9 knots. Awesome. Very cool. Mission completed. We are done. Holy shit. That was a uh, rather intense outing again. Oh my gosh, and wouldn't you know it, just as soon as we completed this mission, we have spotted another destroyer. But it looks like they're almost standing still. If that's the case, we might just take this opportunity. He is standing still. Look at that. <gasps> they all are. Oh my goodness. Okay, go ahead and lock onto this guy, and let's identify him. 
That actually looks like it right there. A black swan class. Velocity. Oh my gosh. Super slow, I bet. Based on how it looks, it looks zero. I mean, we're locked on and it doesn't appear to be moving, so... Course. Oh, that's an interesting angle that it's on right there. Angle to boat. Now let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go from the top. We'll extend outward and then from the rear of our boat. Through the front. And then we're going to get our protractor out. Let's get that measurement right there. They're at 44 degrees. Set. And distance. Oh boy, they are far. Let me tell you. Distance, 2,800 kilometers. Go ahead and set that. So that is good. Unlock from this gentleman. Lock onto this one. Destroyer, looks like it's also going to be a Black Swan class. Velocity is at zero. Course. Probably right around an 84 degree course for this one. All right, course. 84 degrees, set, distance, 1,500 meters, set, all right, let's do this. Hopefully these are all good numbers. We are going to send the first couple torpedoes at this black one. I think I'm actually going to send one, that's it. Go ahead and do this. Load tube one. We'll do it at a depth of 1.5 meters. We'll keep everything as is. Fire. One fish away. Unlock. Go ahead and lock onto this one. Lord Zwei Bewässern. Lord Zwei Bewässern. I love it. Whenever I hear the captain say that, it just increases the adrenaline. And not yet. We are so far away. Once this torpedo gets to about here, in line, we're about that distance from here. Once it gets to right in front of this ship, this destroyer, we will send the second one. All right, and fire. Los! Perfect. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Cool. Set up a new course. We are headed. Oh my gosh, there's another group. We are headed back to base. Let's go ahead and get going. Forward three. And that's a hit. Holy shit. Oh guys, the other one looking like a hit or is it a miss? That looks like it missed. It was drifting with the current though. I'm not surprised. But this guy, he is going down. That is one black swan into the bottom of the... Uh, Barent C, which means this guy, there goes the smokestacks. He is starting up the engines and he's going to come looking for us pretty soon here. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of Dodge. One black swan under. Perfect. Sorry I didn't get to show you guys the big explosion originally. Obviously, I was trying in a hurry to try and get out of there and the torpedo struck. We got to see a little bit, but not as much as we would have wanted to. Perfect, we are heading back. That is a mission accomplished on our end. I like it. Let's go ahead and service the ship. Let's get the hell out of here. Funnel smoke over the horizon, that's okay because it is not coming after us. Let's go ahead and get out of here a little bit. Get back into the open sea. Technically our mission is completed, we could head back home, but I want to look for more ships to take down because that just wasn't enough for me. Okay, so plan of action. I traveled from Weather Station all the way down to the Port of Bergen, patrolled right around AN-1, AN-2, and I haven't located a single convoy. So, because I cannot return with a boat full of torpedoes, because that's just unacceptable for any U-boat captain, I'm sure, we are going to be ballsy, and we are going to go to the Port of Leith, and we are going to see if there's any shipping nearby that we can get. And we are coming across something. So, oh my gosh, it's a patrol boat. 
We are coming right across the patrol boat right as soon as we come through. Jesus, what have I gotten myself into? Thank God all the guns are forward that this thing cannot shoot at us currently. We're going to pass right by it too. Look at this. And there go the guns. Wait for the water line. Holy hell. It's like a goddamn fighter. Jesus, it's like a goddamn pirate match. And there it goes. We managed to sink that. We need to get out of here. I don't know what I've gotten myself into, but that is going down. Good bloody work. But what we're going to do right now is we are going to drop down to periscope depth. Get somebody on the hydrophone, please. And let's see what's nearby. Alright, quick update. We were headed to Leaf. And as I got close to Leaf, it stated that it was coming soon. So it's not even in the game yet. But I think it was a good idea on my part. So we're going to head back to base. However, we do have this funnel smoke headed our way. And it looks like it's going relatively fast. I know we're at a time compression of 48. But if we can get a round off on this, one torpedo, sink this, and then get out of here. This has been more than a successful mission, uh, in my opinion. Oh boy, and the alarms are sounding and everything. Let's see what exactly it is we are dealing with here. And it is a freighter of some sort. Let's go ahead and lock on and try and identify this, shall we? Coaster. And that is exactly what it is right there. We have ourselves an NA1. 2243 gross tonnage. Go ahead and get a velocity, shall we? And start... And let's go ahead and stop, set, seven knots. Boy, it looks a lot faster than seven knots, let me tell you. Get a course going for this bad boy. So course is heading at a 86 degrees. Let's go. Going off to the right, 86 degrees. Set, distance. Not too far, actually. We're at a distance of just about three kilometers. Almost, but not quite. What do we got? Let's go ahead and load one fish, please. Depth of 1.5 meters. Wait for this to get right at zero, and we are pulling the trigger. Here we go, and fire. Boats! One fish away. Do we hear anything else? We got more propeller noises off to where we need to go through. Let's go ahead and clear up all this nonsense that we used to actually find the course for our torpedo. And there it is, one torpedo away. Hopefully this is going to be a good one. Alright, moment of truth. Was it a good hit? Rather, was it a good course? I'm pretty sure we set it all up pretty damn well. We're just waiting for... And there it is. The boom! Serious damage. Look at that. Broke its back. Down it goes. Hell yes. Great bloody work on this crew. Great bloody work. Go ahead and get our radio men up, please. As you need to report back to BDU what it is that we have just sunk. And that is it. We have officially sunk, what is it, one patrol boat and two transport ships. Perfect. I will happily take that. Now all that's left is to head back to, uh, head back to base. We are going to go and swing through the small opening and work our way back to the port of Bergen. We have just enough fuel, 40%, that's more than enough to get us back. But boy, how intense that was for us, right? Having to go in here only to find out that this Leith, so for anyone watching, Leith isn't in the game yet, don't even bother going here. 
I was going to do a secret mission, but we can't even do that. But it worked out pretty well with the fog of war over us and everything. It, uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how that turned out. Let's go ahead and surface the ship here. Resupply our air and get the crew some much needed fresher that they're going to need. We're in the uh, hours of night, so I'm not too worried about planes as of right now. But boy, what a episode. I had a lot of fun. Setting up that weather station at the uh, Bear Island really worked out. Hopefully that's going to help uh, the German war effort. And uh, getting in here and actually sinking some ships, getting some transports out of the way, I think that's really going to help as well. Reduce some of the supplies that are going over to the Soviet Union. So, perfect on us. But I think that's going to do it for us today, ladies and gentlemen, on this episode. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. I know I have. That was uh, pretty intense, getting that close and just finding those ships pretty much smack dab in front of us. Really enjoyed that. The deck gunmen did a fantastic job and we were able to sink some pretty good gross tonnage overall. But until next time, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys liked, what you didn't like. And for anyone that's new to the channel, if you want to see more of this series that's coming out really soon, please consider subscribing. I'm going to get back at it and start working on the next episode. And until next time, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?